Hello friends, this video on rational numbers part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So by the end of this discussion, what did we learn? We learned what are rational numbers and there are certain criteria that needs to be fulfilled for any number to become a national number. So what are those criteria? That number should be represented as P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. The na all integers would be rational numbers. So you talk about any integer, you talk about uh, minus minus 22, you talk about 0, you talk about 3, you talk about 599. So all of these are rational numbers. Fractions, all fractions are national numbers. You talk about 1 by 4, you talk about 59 by 60, you talk about 10,000 divided by 29. So all of these are rational numbers. Repeated decimals. So wherever you have something like this 0 0.3 bar where 3 is repeating itself or you have 0 0.6 bar where 6 is repeating itself. These are also rational numbers. Terminated decimals. So wherever you have decimals with fixed number of digits after the decimal point like 0 0.5, 0 0.275, 0 0.625 these are all examples of terminated decimals and these are also rational numbers because all of these can be represented in the form p by q where both are integers and q not equal to zero so these are the criteria that needs to be satisfied by any number to be called as a rational number now based on whatever we have studied so far let us try to look at some of the questions so let us look at these numbers and identify if they are rational numbers or not. So the first number is 1.75. Just by looking at the number, think of the criteria to become a rational number. So we know that if we have fixed number of digits after the decimal, then it is a rational number. So according to that rule, we just have two digits after the decimal. So it should be a rational number. So let's see how can we write this. Now 1.75 can be written as 175 by 100, which is of course a rational number because both are integers and they are not equal to zero. So we can say that this is a rational number. 0 0.001 again here also we see that after the decimal we have three digits fixed number of digits therefore this is also a rational number so you see this also you can write it as one by thousand so which is again in the form of p by q 0 0.1111 so it is like repeating digits after the decimal so endlessly repeating digits so what happens to these kind this is nothing but 0 0.1 bar so what happens to these kind of numbers? This is also a rational number. When you talk about root over 5, now root over 5 is a non-perfect square. It is not a perfect square, right? Now since it is a non-perfect square, therefore it is an irrational number. When you talk about root over 9, root over 9 is a perfect square. Now since it is a perfect square, so root 9 can be written as plus or minus 3, which is again a rational number. 28. So 28 is nothing but 28 by 1, which is again in the form of P by Q, Q not equal to 0. So this is a rational number. 55 by 100. So it is anyways in the form of P by Q, Q not equal to 0. So this is rational number. 6 by 0. Now, is this a rational number? This is in the form of P by Q, where P and q are integers but in this case q is equal to zero therefore this is not a rational number this is irrational number one one by six what is this this is basically six one is six plus one seven that is seven by six now this seven by six yes of course it is a rational number minus sixty five point five now this is a negative number which is nothing but an integer it's minus sixty five now 0.4, so after decimal you just have one digit. So this should be a rational number. So if you look at it, you can write it somewhat like this. So this is a rational number. 0 0.8, again can be written as 8 by 10, which is a rational number. 22 by 7 is again in the form of P by Q, where Q is not equal to 0. So this is also a rational number. So now based on the criteria that we had discussed some time back, we can very easily identify which is a rational number and which is not.
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to avail free quality education with a simple four-step learning process where you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.